Hello and welcome to the Chili Skins YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching you how to import your own custom skin to CSGO so that you can view it in game and not just on the workbench. Now before we start, you are going to need a skin to replace. If you are importing an AK-47 skin, I suggest getting this one, the AK-47 Uncharted. Now the wear does have to be minimal wear for the skin you're importing to look the best or else it'll come out weird uh, this one, the minimal wear Uncharted only cost me like 86 cents so it's really not that bad uh, also what you're going to need is a separate folder with these files in them the way you can find them is if you go to your library tab in Steam right click Counter Strike Global Offensive, click Properties, click Local Files, and then Browse, and that will bring you to the game files. Then, once you go to the game files, you're going to click Go to CSGO, Scripts, Items, and you'll find those right here. You can just Control C, go over to your backup files, and Control V. And make sure you have these because these are important to have as a backup when you're done with your imported skin. Okay, so now what you're going to do is go to your CSGO folder, go to CSGO, then go to Materials, Models, and there should be a Weapons folder, and then you're going to click that, Customization, Paints, and then you're going to find these three. Now if this doesn't show up in your Weapons folder, you can actually make this file hierarchy yourself. You're just going to want to make a folder named Weapons then customization inside of that, then paint inside of that, and inside of those you're going to make three different folders one for antiqued, one named antiqued one named custom, and one named gunsmith antiqued is for the patina finish, custom is for the custom paint job finish and gunsmith is for the gunsmith finish so now you're going to want to find the VTF file of the skin you want to import so you're going to find the VTF file that you want you're going to put it in the finish that it is, that you want it to be in. Currently, all of really all of the skins that I've imported are patina, but you can put it in gunsmith or custom paint job finish. But for this demonstration, it's going to be in patina. Now, I actually want to import this right here, and it is already in the antiqued folder. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is go all the way back to the Counter-Strike Global Offensive file and find the text file for this skin that you would like to import. Now that is the AK-47 Tiger Tooth. I'm gonna open that one and it'll bring up this right here. Now what you're gonna wanna do then is copy everything from the where we map max all the way up to the style. If this, this doesn't show for all of them, but if this does, you don't need to copy that. Just uh, highlight this, Control C. So now what you're going to want to do is go back to the Counter Strike Global Offensive folder, go to CSGO, Scripts, Items, and then Items underscore Game. And this will bring up this huge text file. You're going to Control F and look up the skin name. Now, fair warning some skins do not go by the name they go in game. Well, most skins actually don't like the Uncharted AK-47 skin. That actually goes by the name Aztec in this file, in the, in the folders, right, in the f uh, file right here. So we're just going to look for the Aztec bit of text right here. Uh, I'm just gonna have all of the, the details about the skin. So then you're gonna go and find the text file for the skin you would like to import right here. I would like to import the AK-47 Tiger Tooth. Now, since we added it to the file hierarchy, we don't have to have all this stuff right here, and we don't need the extension either. And now you should be good to go. So you're just going to close out of it, save it, and now you just need to boot up CSGO. It's actually already booted up, so I'm going to just restart it. So now that CSGO is open, you're going to make sure that... Yep, alright. If the skin is black, do not be alarmed. That is supposed to happen when you first boot up the game. You're going to need to 
Well, first of all, equip it. In order to see the skin, you need to go to a game of bots. So I'm just going to go with bots. Start up a quick deathmatch game. Now, once you are done with uh, your skin and you want to return it back so that you can now play on VAX secured servers, if you have a custom skin loaded, you can only play in private offline servers. But once you are done with it, you're going to go to your backup CSGO files folder. You want to find items underscore game, control V, I mean control C. Then you're going to your global offensive folder, go to CSGO. Then go to scripts, items, and then instead of going into one of these full files, you're just going to control V and then replace the file in the destination. And that'll reset everything. And you don't have to delete the hierarchy that we made, the weapons hierarchy, either one that we made, the, the models folder right here. You don't have to delete that, you can leave that in place. And then you can just restart CSGO and you will. Now be able to play on VAX secured servers and your skin will be unloaded.